Singing is it's an interesting thing because singing is something that comes naturally expressively. But it is actually a lot of physical work. You're, you're breathing, you're concentrating, you're, you know, it's, it's, it's draining, um, particularly in three day sessions. We're doing everything so back to back to back to back. Eleanor has to sound as easy as can be, and it's not easy, and the work that has to go on at home is very time consuming and, and very, sometimes very tedious, but it has to be done. Technique is something that has to be there so that you can make the music you want to, but if one's aware of the technique, then it's bad. If you want a career, you've got to work, and work very hard, and if you don't, forget it. I think she's very aware of that. She's a very, very talented young lady. Well, you know, I've been making records for years and years, more than 50 years, and I love making records. And when a young singer like this comes along who is really cluey, I mean, she's, she's got a lovely voice, she's got a beautiful technique, she's a lovely looking girl, and she's very pleasant to work with. And I was very glad to be asked to do this record, and, and the repertoire is the sort of thing I like doing very much. We do some Rossini, some Bellini, Donizetti. We went off to Switzerland to visit Richard Bonning and we had actually almost a whole week where we were coaching through the repertoire two or three times, getting ideas and being told, no, you can't do it this way, you should do it this way. For me, one of the joys of Belcanto repertoire is getting to perform them, the characters and the acting side. So I think the comic characters like the Adinas and the Rorinas, they suit me very well because they're very playful, very cheeky. But then I also enjoy the uh, more dramatic side. So the Lucias and these sorts of more um, intense characters. So I, in Belcanto you have the joy of being able to play both. I'm the sort of person who says what I think and he was, would say what he thinks back to me and he would, and vice versa. So I, I thought we were on, um, you know, the same level. I learned quite a lot in terms of things that I needed to modify to get the best out of my instrument. Too many singers think too much about high notes. I mean, Eleanor has beautiful high notes, but she's not wanting to sing them all the time. I mean, some people, that's all they think of. And uh, she, she, she really thinks of the whole voice, and it's a very even voice from top to bottom, which is wonderful, because you don't find that too often. There's usually holes in the voice, and she doesn't seem to have that. And, and I think that's very important to get the different colours in her voice, and that's what I've been trying to help her with. And uh, she, she responds wonderfully. It was great to work with Richard. It's quite an, um, an open and frank uh, relationship, which I think helped us um, and maybe because we're both Australian, I'm not sure. If Eleanor stays within the repertoire that she should sing, which is after all not the heavy repertoire, uh, a lot of bel canto, a lot of Mozart, Handel, uh, I think she could have a very lovely career because she's a very accurate singer. She takes the trouble to learn, you know, it's to, to sing all these notes. There are lots of, lots of fast notes in some of these, these bel canto pieces. And she, <clears throat> she takes the trouble to sit home and, and really study. She just doesn't go, Ooh, as many uh, singers do. And uh, I, I think she's got all the attributes to have a, have a fine career.